When you're watching the Olympics on television, you might think to yourself, these triple jumps look effortless. I don't think this is very hard. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it's tremendously difficult and it takes years and years of practice training to get your body into the most efficient air position so that it can rotate three or four times in the air and then land on that little edge. So, so when I see a figure skater uh, executing a daring move, pitching themselves backwards, I'm amazed as a neuroscientist because what I think of is how is the figure skater able to prevent themselves from pitching forward? So when you or I slip on ice, we fall backwards and we immediately pitch ourselves forward. This is because of automatic hardwired reflexes. So what a figure skater somehow learns to do is to suppress those reflexes. And we believe what's happening when a figure skater practices their daring moves over and over again is that they're rewiring circuits in a region of the brain called the cerebellum. It's at the base of the brain. Every time the figure skater practices their move, pitches themselves backward, connections in the brain are changing such that the activity of neurons in the cerebellum becomes weaker and weaker and these reflexes, these vital protective reflexes are gradually suppressed. And this is what allows them to do what you or I couldn't to execute these daring moves. The brain stores every individual movement separately in isolation in different brain areas. Now, as you learn to figure skate, you need to form complex routines. And these amazing routines come together by gluing the individual pieces. The basal ganglia, an area that is in the middle of the brain, connects to all these other brain areas that have the individual pieces. And rewiring of this brain area allows you to form now a complex sequence of movements. And this complex sequence, this routine, can now be performed effortlessly, naturally, without thinking. As Olympic skaters prepare to do a very complex routine, there's a moment of quiet in which they are focusing on uploading that routine, and then all of a sudden, the whole thing is unleashed. So it's very cognitive, and that's what we admire. 